Hi, this is Mrs Griffin. I'm here to talk about Kamikaze by Beatrice Garland. Uh, Beatrice Garland lives in London and works as a clinician and researcher for the NHS alongside writing poetry. Kamikaze was published in 2013 as part of her first poetry collection, The Invention of Fireworks. Um, the poem opens with a kamikaze pilot setting off on his mission. Kamikaze pilots were sp specifically trained Japanese pilots who were used towards the end of World War II. They flew their planes on suicide missions into enemy ships. It, it was seen as a great honour to serve our country and your country in this way. It becomes clear that the pilot turned around and didn't complete his mission. His daughter imagines that this was because on, uh, on the way he saw the beauty of nature and remembered his innocent childhood. The pilot was shunned when he got home. Even his family acted if he wasn't there. I'm now going to read you the poem. Kamikaze. Her father embarked at sunrise with a flask of water, a samurai sword in the cockpit, a shaven head full of powerful incantations, and enough fuel for a one-way journey into history. But halfway there, she thought, recounting it later to her children, he must have looked far down at the little fishing boats, strung out like bunting on a green-blue translucent sea, and beneath them arcing in swathes, like a huge flag waved first one way and then the other in a figure of eight, the dark shoals of fishes flashing silver as their bellies swivelled towards the sun, and remembered how he and his brother, waiting on the shore, built cairns of pearl-grey pebbles to see whose withstood longest the turbulent inrush of breakers, bringing their father's boat safe, yes, grandfather's boat, safe to the shore, salt-shodden, awash with cloud-marked mackerel, black crabs, feathery prawns, the loose silver of white bait, and once a tuna, the dark prince, muscular dangerous. And thou, he came back, my mother never spoke again in his presence, nor did she meet his eyes, and the neighbours too. They treated him as though he no longer existed. Only we children still chattered and laughed, till gradually we too learned to be silent, to live as though he had never returned, that this was no longer the father we loved. And sometimes, she said, he must have wondered which had been the better way to die. Um, three quotes that I think will massively help you with this um, are obviously the final sentence, and sometimes she said he must have wondered which had been the better way to die. This short sentence could be a comment on the destructiveness of patriotism. The pilot's family is so ashamed that they treat him as if he's dead. He may have wished that he'd fulfilled his mission. Either way, his story ends in a kind of death. Um, and it was worth looking at the fact that um, the sentences roll on, so we've got the enjambment, the lack of punctuation. Um, so if you look at in stanza four at from from the word longest longest the turbulent in rush of breakers so you've got all the the nature going on there um and the and though he never came back it, it's very telling it lets us know that um was it worth him coming back or should he have just carried out his mission and ended it that way um, two, poem, uh, two other poems that you could compare this to are Poppies, if you're writing about memory, and with the prelude, if you're writing about the power of nature. Thank you.